So I was thinking, what if there was actual villages and houses in the swamp biome in Minecraft? This biome might be getting an upgrade very soon by Mojang, so we need some villages ready for it. I've designed a couple of houses to get us started with our own swamp biome village. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. First of all, I'm going to show you how to build this middle house here, the smallest one, and then we can add a big butt to it and then a water butt that is and then we can do the l-shaped house which is similar to this little one with just two additional sections added okay i have set out all the ingredients over here so first of all you're going to need some ochus woodus logus dark oak log oak stairs ochus slabus woodus you're going to need some spruce trapdoors and ordinary trapidorus maximus and, of course, you're also going to need these things here, some mossy stone bricks. Lay them out in this formation here with three blocks in between to make a little square. The 5x5 five five building method relies on this shape where every upright is really three blocks away from the next upright. Okay, then we're going to go for two dark oak logs on each of these like that and then we're going to go for five one two three four five oak logs on top one two three four five 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 okay cool um now we're going to go for some oak stairs the oak stairs are going to go there and there two of them and then two oak slabs sticking out from each of them like that so that's what you should have so far i'll hold the camera there and there so you get a good idea Ooh, scary noises of exactly what we're doing so far right we are going to need some temporary blocks let me just grab some yellow wool here because we're going to we're going to place some trap doors and the trap doors are going to go on top of the yellow wool or your temporary blocks if you will right there so trapidorus maximus time we need two rows of three on each of these sections right here Open them all up and get rid of your temporary blocks. Cool. There we are. Excellent. Um, the next thing we're going to need is some of these oak stairs. Now, the oak stairs go on top of the trap doors. The middle one is ordinary, but the two sideways ones, or the two either side, are turned in there for a smidgen of detail and we like our smidgens when we build in Minecraft. Be kind to smidgens, you never know when they'll repay the favor. Okay, that one goes like that and like that and like that and there we go, excellent. Now, round the front of this build, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna go for um, oak logs one and two and then in between a full block of oak planks. Okay. Next, we're going to go for oak planks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. Cool. Then we're going to turn our attention to spruce trapdoor, and these are going to go nine in here. And then wrap these all the way around the build, kind of at this level. Don't make any mistakes. I never make any mistakes. There we go. Boom, mistake free. Cool, once you have done all that, it's back to Trapidorus Maximus line and land. And then we wanna make, is how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 trap doors on the three sides here. Notice how some of these spruce trap doors are facing different ways. I think that's fine. You might not want them all sticking out the, sh the same way. You could put some in like this and you could even do alternate like that. If you want them higgledy piggledy or you want them all lined up, that is up to you. Another 12 wooden trap doors here. And the cool thing about being inside this build is you've still got place to put places to put chests. You could put um, furnaces you could put uh, crafting benches and whatnot in inside your house so there's still plenty of room okay i think that kind of completes things for the first row of ingredients so let's clear our inventory and pick up some other stuff so we want um 
spruce fence gates, two of them, um, about five or six bits of stripped spruce log, I think four ladders, you're going to need, oh, I don't know, quite a few, maybe 20 of these spruce fences and spruce stairs. By the way, if you'd like some extra pictures and a full block count for this build and many of my other builds as well, then head over to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda. And there'll be a block guide and some extra pictures to help you build this on there as soon as I can. Uh, oak door. We want um, some spruce slabs, probably quite a few, get like 10, that would probably do it. Um, farmland, we don't quite need yet. Farmland would be for this build over here where we've got some farmland. Um, what else do we need? That's pretty good so far, so that'll do. Right, so let's build this up. So what we want to do now is grab some spruce, stripped spruce log, go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, carve out. A space for the door. A door is going to go right in there. You can, if you want, set the door back. Some people like to do that, create a bit more depth in your build. Personally, I like it Mojang style, <laughs> kind of flush like that. Let's stick on the ladder at this point. One, two, three, four, like so. And then we're going to get busy with spruce fences. Wrap them all around the build like that. Is that okay so far? Then we're going to have two here and two here, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. Nice kind of structure there. I'm going to reach for the fence gates. I'm not sure why I put the fence gates here, just to kind of tidied up this area. That one closed and that one open. Maybe you guys can think of something uh, better that would sit there. So there we go. Oh, we're going to have some more of these spruce fence gates at the back. One, two, three, four, and then one, two. One, oops, two, three, four, and one, two. Like that. Cool. Good progress. I'm just checking my picture to make sure everything's okay. We can put a staircase in at this point like that so you can actually get up and into your build. Great. Um, let's put some corners on, full blocks here, so it's one, two, full blocks here of spruce planks, like so, and then we're going to go for some spruce stairs facing out the way, like that. Cool. And in between some spruce slabs, just fill in the gaps here. Great, nearly done, nearly finished. We need to make a gap for the ladder area. I'm going to put a temporary block here to put the um, spruce trap door on like that. Take that away, put my ladder back. Now it still functions nicely as a ladder. You can climb up there and jump onto the slabs. So that's a nice little trapdoor feature. Big shout out and thank you to Weirdog for suggesting that. I think it was Weirdog. Now, we can make the sides optionally a little bit more higgledy piggledy If you can see over there, I've done that and it makes it look a bit more rough and ready and swamp-like. So what you do is you make a gap. It doesn't matter where you make the gap, somewhere like that. Put one facing the opposite way to that one and then turn that one like that. So just choose any two along here. I'm going to choose these two. One facing that way and one facing in that way. And it makes it a bit more rough and ready at the side. I'm going to choose these two. And I'm going to choose just these two here. So one that way and one that way. And it just roughens it up at the side. So now we're ready for some nice detailing. And the detailing really makes this build come alive. Grab yourself some lanterns. I've got some dead horny coral fan, and I've got some dead brainy coral fan as well. Um, sea pickles, which look like fungus or mushrooms growing. I've got some spruce buttons and some vines as well. So we're going to start with the vines. Just spam them about everywhere, kind of like that. They can also go across the trap doors at the bottom as well, which I particularly like. To spam these up there and up there few there and along the sides here. So the vines look kind of great as they grow down 
just like that we can actually draw them down a few spaces ourselves. Uh, the spruce buttons kind of optional I just scattered these about in random positions where maybe I don't want too many vines to grow they help to control the number of vines as well which is pretty cool um, what have we got left so the dead horny and dead brainy coral these look like bracket funguses growing out and you'd expect lots of fungus when you've got um, a horrible swamp oh you can even put them on the trapdoors I did not know that I just found that out this second whoa we've invent we're inventing things you can actually put them on the trapdoors I love that I love that sum up this level uh, as well there we go beautiful details the pea sickles can go on here like this like this boop, 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 boop. like that there we go I love that maybe put one in the corner as if you've got a problem with your fungus <laughs> that sounds horrible <laughs> problem with your fungus oh the lanterns can go here and here I am enjoying this build way too much. There we go. Lovely. Now, if you want a big butt, I like big butts, I cannot lie. If you want a big water butt like this one over here, you're going to need to grab yourself some spruce stairs, a whole bunch of trapdoors. Um, we need some oak trapdoors, some buckets of water, and I'm going to take some temporary blocks as well, and we can go and install our large butt. Okay, we're going to take away the center block and the ones around it. And then we're going to take away one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, kind of on the sides like that. And what we want to do is turn these in like this. One, two, three. One, oops. One, two, three. One, two, th oops. Three. And that opens that one out. One, two, oops. Two, three. Grab yourself uh, the spruce trap doors. These go across like that. So we need nine of these to start with. Cool. And then if you've got that done so far, we need to get another six trap doors here. And this kind of makes the side of the big water butt. So obviously there would be a problem with fresh water. So I'm suggesting the big water butt would collect lots of rainwater. And this is what you do in real life if you live actually on the, in the edges of the jungle. I've been in villages in real life on the edges of the jungle. And everybody, I tell you, in the jungle has got a big butt on their roof. So I'm going to add some water in kind of like this. So one, two, three, four, five. Get rid of my temporary blocks and you have filled up your big water butt on the roof. And that is the little teeny tiny single swamp house done. Now it's time to turn our attention to the L shaped house like this one right here just before we do that do check out my merch level up your gaming well why not level up your clothing levelupclothing.com check it out brand new designs all done by me levelupclothing.com check out the merch okay here we go to build the l-shaped house i'm going to start with one of our ordinary houses and i've taken the water butt off the hut so or off the top so once you have this we can start to expand really so what we want to do is expand in this direction so we're going to get rid of these trap doors we're going to get rid of these trap doors i'm going to open this right out here so we're going to open this wall make that all slabs we're going to open up this wall as well so we get rid of all these bits here we need to also get rid of these ones and these ones take out this side wall here and again these can get turned into slabs like that so we've opened up that side whoa <clears throat> and we have opened up this side right here great we can also get rid of this bit here like that and also I guess that one there as well cool we're gonna get rid of these side bits here and that there because we need to extend along let me show you exactly what we're doing we're extending along and having another section on the side right here so this is what we've got to achieve can you memorize all that we've got some sneaky berry bushes at the back oh and the addition of this block here the jungle trap door so that's pretty much all the extra blocks we need a few of these beautiful birch trap doors and a couple of jungle trap doors and some sneaky berries as well Okay, so all the blocks that we need should be on this build already. Let's take away these blocks here. We're going to have more mossy 
stone bricks. Again, a gap of three. So one, two, three, plonk. One, two, three, plonk. And there should be a nice gap of three in between. Again, two bits of dark oak. Now this dark oak fading into the oak log looks like this was once been waterlogged as if the, the, the level of the water come up and made these oaks dark. These come up five, same as last time. One, two, three, four, five, like that. There we go, excellent. Cool, um, what we're gonna do next? I think it's probably trap door time, which means I need some temporary blocks here for the trap doors. I'm gonna go for mossy, because I've already got this in my hand. And the trap doors will come in. One, two, three, one, two, three. Pretty much exactly the same as we have been doing, so nothing should be radically different. Oh, we can go into view. Like so, there we go. Cool, it's working, it's working, it's working. Now, exactly the same as last time, we're gonna go for, we can get rid of you and you, Mr. Fungus. These get turned in, remember, like that? I'm sure you remember. One, two, three, and these ones simple as one, two, three, and get you turned. We can get rid of this one and this one as well. And you, we don't need you, we don't need you. Give it a floor, again, just with oak slabs. And there we go, simple as. That's pretty much our work done. We're gonna do the roof in a second, but we need to do our next section, which is over here. This is exactly the same. Oh, do get rid of your temporary blocks. And then over here, gap of three. And then one, two, one, two. And then, one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, what's next? Ooh, some more temporary blocks. Gotta have our trap doors. One, two, three, one, two, three. More temporary blocks here and here. Get rid of the temporaries. Cool, and same deal. You've got to put these oak stairs, one, two, turn, and turn, like that. That's pretty cool. Do I do that? No. I'm gonna make a change here. I'm gonna go upside down here. This is, there's a little bit of a weird bit at the back here. I'm gonna go upside down. Here it's gonna be normal. But there I went for upside down. I'll show you why in just a couple of seconds time. Get rid of you. This one's the same as normal. So I guess we're gonna need another one of these here and then bring this oak slab out and then we can get busy again with these beautiful, beautiful, one of my favorite blocks now in the game is the spruce trapdoors. These can simply get wrapped around, once again, the whole build. There we go, pretty cool. Um, I guess it's time to get busy with Trepidorus Maximus again. We need 12 of these. But round the side, we're gonna be very, very sneaky. Round the side here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these spruce trap doors in here. But this is where the beautiful jungle trap door comes in handy. It makes a nice little window. But it, what it does mean is we have this kind of more private wall, I suppose. Don't forget your oak wood slabs, upper oak wood slabs in here. What should be our next job? Let's do this again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, jungle trap door in there. Cool. One more normal oak trap doors here. Twelve again. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A lot of trap doors. But I can imagine it being very, very hot 
and humid in the swamp and you wouldn't want walls, you just want lots of holes, lots of ventilation. This is my thinking behind this build. Right, at the back here we're going to go for a sneaky little berry farm. One, two, three, with these beautiful birch trap doors, kind of like that. And then the berries, let me grab the berries, sweet berry is going to go on there like that so it is time now to put on our roof expand our roofs so all this needs to be slabs doesn't it um, we could take away you I guess hmm maybe it's better to do our uprights with yes let's do some uprights with our spruce fences here like that that kind of makes more sense same on this corner right here it's one two three four one two over here two one two three four like that yeah this makes much more sense to do this before we put our roof on so again i've gone for double slabs in other words full blocks of spruce fences in the corner and then gone for outside blocks like that of spruce um, and then here and this gets all opened up and just turned into normal slabs ready for the big water butt I guess one two three four five one two three four and once again you can go crazy with just messing up the sides a little bit I like to kind of do it this way around Oh, that, you could be a slab, couldn't you? And then lots of slabs we need in here. But we are going to put a farm in, so you might not want to place these slabs just yet. Let me just kind of mess things up slightly on these sides here. I do like this. It makes it look very rough and ready. So, yeah, farm time, I guess. Let's go and grab um, a farm block. I don't know if this is a sensible thing to do, but just grabbing a farm block, maybe it's going to change into normal dirt before I can get my water down. So there's my farm like that. Yes, it's changing already. <laughs> ah, uh, that was a silly thing to do. And there we go. Like that. Underneath, uh, we're going to put some spruce trapdoors. Like that. And then we can contain the water for our farm. We've just about rescued some of this farmland like that so now i can replace this oh flood time so that's how you do the farm like that simple as the water butt i've already shown you how to build that you would place the water butt at the back and then of course don't forget all your details and once all your details are on your build should look just like this once you've planted up your nice farm once you've added your water butt by the way i forgot to put these on didn't i on this water butt i just you can either do them like this okay or you can do them on top it's kind of up to you maybe you could do some sort of combo as well you could do that if you wanted that looks kind of kind of cool actually as if you could access the water butt. But there you go, once all the details are on, add your lanterns back on, maybe a barrel or two would look good. Plenty of vines, everything's looking fine. A couple of lanterns at the back of the L-shaped house and you are good to go. Hopefully this has inspired you to get building a swamp village. Um, there's lots of other houses, like you've got the, the, well, you've got the weaponsmith, the toolsmith, the blacksmith, the, the maybe bigger farms, the butchers, the church. What are you going to build in your swamp biome? Hopefully you have fun with this. Maybe this has given you a starter that you need to build yourself a swamp biome village, especially if Mojang upgrade the swamps to include exciting things like frogs. Maybe you're going to want, want, be wanting your village to be in the swamp. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I love reading your comments. I read every single comment. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. May the blocks be with you. Thanks for watching and do check out my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy Isura, where there's downloads of all my 5x5 builds every single month. See you there.